Hi, my name's Gary McLean and I'm Scotland's National Chef and Master Chef to Professionals Champion. And today I'm going to be talking about how amazing Scottish smoked salmon is and how versatile it is. You know, this is a great product for that quick win if you're doing a, a dinner party. You'll get instant flavour, instant quality and absolutely zero work. I do a lot of travelling and I do, I do taste a lot of uh, smoked salmon around the world and there's nothing like Scottish smoked salmon. I'm actually going to make a, a quiche, um, a smoked salmon, broccoli, spinach quiche. First thing we need for that is our pastry. Really, really simple to make your own homemade pastry. So 200 grams of flour, 100 grams of butter, a little bit of water, and I actually put in a little bit of hard cheese in there as well. And what I find that does is it just helps keep that pastry nice and crisp. So I'm going to try and get this as thin as possible. Just a little dust of flour in the, the case. And just carefully, just nice and loose, we want to drop the pastry in without creating any holes and push into the corners. And then just to trim the edges. And then take a little sheet of grease proof and some bacon beans. This is a mixture of lentils and peas. Again, for me, it's probably the, the, the best way of doing it. All I want to do now is just let that pastry rest before I put it in the oven. For me, Scottish smoked salmon is immense because we get the flavouring right. You know, we're still doing traditional methods in smoking, which is the most important thing. Some of these kilns are, you know, hundreds of years old, but we're, we're really proud of our heritage when it comes to smoking, and we are very good at it. So this is the pastry case that's been baked blind and basically all that means is that I'm cooking it twice. So what I want to do is make a nice, beautiful, crispy shell before we actually cook the quiche. The first thing I'm going to do is make the custard. We've got about four eggs and to that I'm going to add a mixture of cream and milk. And all I'm doing is just whisking that together. And this is going to be the kind of glue that holds the whole lot together. Next thing I want to do is just really build up the filling for the quiche. So I've got some baby spinach here. I'm going to add some sprouting broccoli. And you want to make this interesting. You want to make every bite a wee bit different. Next thing I want to do is just add some grated parmesan. And then we can start topping that and just filling all those little gaps with the smoked salmon. And then we just fill. And it'll take more than you think. And you just have to take your time and let that settle. There we go. There's uh, the quiche ready. The reason I know it's ready is because there's no wobble. What we want to do is we just want to let that cool. We want to get that to about room temperature before we try and and decant it. And whilst that's happening, I'm going to make a little salad from the broccoli. I've got some mixed leaves, a little bit of rocket. I've got some beautiful blue cheese that I'm going to put through that. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very, very simple dressing. So I've got some white wine vinegar, a little bit of cold pressed rapeseed oil, good crack of pepper, pinch of salt, and there you have a, an absolutely stunning Scottish smoked salmon quiche.